Welcome to WAC Basketball Preview Day. I'm Kendra Sheehan, presented by Hercules Tires. We are now joined by New Mexico State's men's basketball team, head coach Chris Jans. In his fifth season, Johnny McCants and Jabari Rice. New Mexico State picked to finish first in the WAC in our preseason poll voted on by media and coaches. Coach Jans, I'm going to start with you. November 9th, it'll be almost two full years since the Aggies have played a home game inside the Pan Am Center. What do you expect that atmosphere to be like? We're looking forward to it. Uh, we had a scrimmage last week, an inner squad 20 minute deal. And even though it wasn't an actual game day, it gave us a preview of what that feeling is like to walk down uh, the tunnel and, and play in front of our rabid fan base. And um, just excited mainly for the kids. Um, obviously, we went through a rough season last year um, due to COVID, et cetera. So they're, you know, they deserve to, to play in front of, of these fans and play in an environment that um, they're used to playing in, at least for the returnees. And then the new players, obviously, in the recruiting process heard a lot about it. So, um, you know, it's, it's peeking around the corner. It'll be here before we know it. Um, but we're all very, very excited to uh, get back in the Pan American Center for sure. Certainly had a unique season last year. Routines in college basketball can be so important. You guys never really had a true home game. You were always on the road. What is it going to be like to have that normalcy this season? And how do you anticipate that helping this team? It definitely feels normal. Uh, last year didn't. Uh, I think like you, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, most teams, coaches, players are used to a routine and certainly we're no different. Uh, it just feels great to be able to sleep in our own beds, knowing we're going to practice in the friendly confines every day. And, uh, you know, we're lifting in our strength and conditioning room. We're in our locker room and in our video room. And uh, we didn't get to do that last year. So um, I think everyone would agree that um, it, it it feels great uh, and normal would be the, the correct word. Uh, now that, you know, again, I think not going to uh, make, we're going to all of a sudden win a, you know, our games because of that. But um, just from a day to day uh, perspective, it feels awesome to, um, you know, just be here and practicing at home and the kids sleeping in their own beds and, and seeing their friends and their girlfriends and what have you and, and not being you know six hours away in a hotel with a mess of COVID so um, try to keep that in perspective even when we have bad days of practice for me that it could be worse so um, I think we'd all agree that uh, it just feels a lot better this year than it did last year. Johnny you've been here since 2016, you're a veteran, you're a local guy. What does it mean for you to get a chance to put on the crimson and white jersey for another season? Um, I say it means a lot to me uh, just because um, I didn't have a, a good chance of playing in front of my friends, my family, or the fans last year. And playing in this environment, it's, it's something different. Um, the fans bring a lot of energy. Uh, they want us to play harder, so that would show up with a different kind of energy and not having the chance to play in front of them and feel that energy, being able to have a family connected as a team and play at home is kind of different. I mean, like you said, we moved away, but we didn't have a home game or anything like that, but having the chance to come back for one more year, it's, it's, um, it feels like my freshman year all over again. So I'm just ready for that. How have you evolved as a player over your course of five years at New Mexico State, and how do you feel entering your final season with the Aggies? Um, I would say my body, my body changed a lot. Um, when I started here, I was 200 pounds. Uh, after that, or now I'm 240, 235. Um, uh, playing under Coach Jens, he he taught me a lot, a lot about defense, actually. Uh, I kind of pride myself to a, a defense more than anything about my game. I try to try to guard the ball the best I can, but him teach me defense. It's I know it, it developed my game. It evolved me a lot more, um, and I just appreciate that. I mean, 
Jabari. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Jabari, the season obviously not ending the way that the Aggies wanted, falling in the WAC championship game. How have you used that as fuel for this season and the adversity you had to face coming into this season? Um, we just always had a goal for ourselves. And to not complete that goal is probably like the thing that hurt the most. So now we're just trying to get back on track and actually complete our goals that we have set. You led the team in so many offensive categories last season. You dealt with some injuries. How do you feel like your game is entering this season? Uh, I'm 100% healthy, and that's and if I stay that way, I'll uh, just show the things that I've been showing and just being a better leader and just learning how to play with different guys this year. But we do have a lot of, like, new guys, and I do like our team. I like every single one of our guys, and I feel like we do bond a little bit. And so I feel like it should be pretty fun. Just just playing a role, whatever role Coach Jans wants me to play. I don't really choose my role. You, it kind of just flows in. Coach Jans, you added some big name players in the offseason. Nate Pryor from Washington, Mario McKinney out of John A. And perhaps the most talked about is Teddy Allen out of Nebraska. This will be his fifth college team that he's played on in his career. How do you see Allen fitting into the culture that you've built at New Mexico State? Well, first of all, um, just a little advice for everybody. When you guys do this in the future, you should have the players separate from the coaches so they won't give you the answers that the head coach wants to hear. Um, that will be uh, par for the course, I think, across the board doing it virtual like this because I'm not sure they'd have the same answer if they weren't looking at me. But uh, before I talk about the newcomers, you know, the the two guys I got on here, it just kind of dawned on me that, you know, we've been together going on five years now. Um, I inherited Johnny when I arrived and he sat out his first season and coached him for four. And then Jabari was one of the first players we signed and had the same scenario. And, um, you know, it's, we've been, been through a lot together and real proud of how much they've grown as, as human beings um, uh, and not just as basketball players, but I'm excited that, you know, they're both with us, um, you know, for, for one last go around here. So, um, you know, they're, they're our backbone. They're our backbone. They, they've been through it all, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, and they've really helped um, our young kids understand, you know, the expectations that we have on a daily basis around here. And we're very fortunate that we've got some guys um, that are built like these two. But in terms of, of the new guys, um, obviously, Teddy is... <clears throat> Um, a well-accomplished, well-traveled uh, player. Uh, we've had some success with guys like that in the past, and we certainly did our due diligence, um, you know, before we invited him to join our program. But from my chair and my perspective, he's done a wonderful job in immersing himself into the fabric of our team and our culture. And um, he's leaned on, you know, guys like Jabari and Clayton, um, Johnny, you guys have been around and developed the relationships with them from the get go. And uh, he was smart that, you know, he figured out who the, the guys that have been around here the longest and he aligned himself with, with those guys. And um, fortunately for me, it, you know, I knew this would happen, but these other older guys have welcomed him with, with open arms and um, he's dove right in. He's been really good. He's been working his tail off. He's working on both ends of the floor. Some of these guys might argue, but I think he's probably in the best shape of anybody on the team, at least in the top two or three. And, um, you know, we're excited that he's joined our program. You mentioned a little bit with Jabari Rice and Johnny McCanns, the veterans, the backbone of the program. How do you see their roles changing or expanding this upcoming season? You know, that time will tell. Um, I know we're going to lean on them a lot in terms of, uh, you know, leading the team uh, in the locker room, on the court. I'm sure in, in practice, they've already done it. Anticipating games, uh, then picking the right spots to try to rally the troops, if you will. In terms of, you know, statistical, uh, you know, things like that. I mean, that'll play out the way it plays out. I, I tell our teams every year that you know, I really don't choose what their roles are. Um, that just happens in practice and it happens over time and it, it happens in the games. And, um, you know, we'll see, but I anticipate both of them, uh, you know, being um, playing huge roles for us on both ends of the floor. 
can't teach experience and, and they, they both have a ton of that uh, and they're both uh, pretty focused um, comparative to maybe some of the other years um, that, that we've gone into a season um, because of what happened last year and for Johnny had you know getting another chance to finish out his career as a hometown Aggie but um, I think they'll both play uh, big roles uh, as our season unfolds this year. Johnny, a veteran, a huge leader on the team. How do you see your role expanding from your perspective? Um, I just view it as a, a great chance to uh, become more of a, a captain, uh, to share my experience under Coach Chance and how he wants everybody to play or what's expected throughout the games. Um, I feel like it gave me a great opportunity to just put the guys on the right track. Um, I don't know what much to say about that. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to say, honestly. Jabari, you and Teddy Allen have the potential to be one of the most lethal duos in college basketball. What has it been like sharing the floor with him during practice and the chemistry among you two? Um, it's, it's been fun, especially guarding him because he's so, he's so talented offensively. And so, and I like a challenge. So obviously I'm going to go at him every day and he goes back at me every day. And I think that's the best thing of us getting each other better and seeing the, the different type of ways that we play, the new unique type of ways that we play is, is going to be the best thing. And I think that already just even yeah. when the scrimmage came, us being on different teams, we, we still clicked, you know what I mean? So I feel like it was just natural off the rip. As soon as he came, it was just clicking. And I knew a guy before he came that knew him. And so me and him already had talked once. Chris Stans, Jabari Rice, Johnny McCanns, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to hand it off to Chris Thompson and let the rest of the media have a crack at you guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.